Hello everyone and welcome to today's episode of Beyond the Mask. Today I want to discuss something that has been cropping up in the comments on my last few videos I've been doing lately. So, as many of you are aware, I've been making some behind the scenes videos to share with you some aspects of the Scream franchise that you may or may not know. One of the hottest topics surrounding the franchise is the original plans for Scream 3. Originally the third movie was written by Kevin Williamson and the studio were so set on this movie that they were set to begin filming just around a week before the tragic Columbine massacre took place. So following that tragedy everything changed and Dimension Films didn't want to make a movie that involved teenagers being killed and so it was scrapped in favour of the Scream 3 we eventually got. I'm still hoping to get some information on Kevin Williamson's draft, but the reason for this video is that there seems to be a very split report about the original movie, and because of it, a lot of fans seem confused at the legitimacy of the original draft for Scream 3. So the original plan was to have Stu Marker return as a mastermind behind Baz, who was set to be the leader of a huge cult of Ghostface killers, who then targeted Sidney Prescott in Scream 3, with Stu's involvement being revealed in the climax of the movie. Now, Kevin Williamson spoke about this draft way back before 3 came out, with him stating that he was preparing to film the movie soon. There was little discussion about it, however, in more recent years, Kevin Williamson has denied Stu Marker's involvement, with him simply stating that he believed those rumours regarding Stu's involvement were actually due to Matthew Lillard showing up on the set of Scream 2 several times. Richard Potter, who worked on the original draft with Kevin Williamson, posted on Facebook more recently stating, I was in charge of developing the first three Scream movies for Dimension Films. I still have Kevin's original draft for Scream 3 before Aaron Kruger came in to write his own idea for Scream 3. Stu is not in Kevin's script. When Kevin, Julie Pleck and I sat down to discuss what Scream 3 would be about, there was never a discussion of Stu being in it. The big question was whether or not the Scream 3 should move the focus more to Gail from Sydney. These conversations all took place while we were in Atlanta shooting Scream 2, just as we discussed what Scream 2 would be about while we were in Santa Rosa shooting Scream. Kevin may have thought about some idea of a cult or something with Stu later, but he never discussed it with us and didn't write it in his first draft. I'm happy to answer any questions you guys have about the first movies. If there is something you'd like to know, feel free to ask, but I don't want to argue about Stu or who said what about Stu in the intervening years. I can say with 100% certainty that we never discussed Stu being in Scream 3 when we were developing it. So, Kevin Williamson and Richard Potter say this, but Matthew Lillard stated this in an interview. Tell uh, Williamson I'll come back. <laughs> I'd love to come back. You got killed. Well, the funny thing is, right? I was supposed to come back for the third one. Nobody knows this, but All right. the, the third breaking one... Breaking news. Breaking news. Big deal here on Bob's podcast. The, the third one, they had written in uh, me to be the killer in the third one. Now, how, and how is that going to be justified? Because you were I killed only took at the a TV first. on the head. What? I took a TV. Is that what it was? That's how I died. So, so the, the theoretically, idea was you could have been from jail. I was masterminding this kind of um. this this attack against Sydney Nev's character, and so three weeks before we were supposed to start shooting, Columbine High School broke broke out, oh. and they changed everything. They kind of took the script and threw it to the side, and they 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 bought me out, and I never did the third one. So. Oh. So, who do we believe here? Matthew Lillard claims that he was even paid for his role, which is a really strong statement to make considering someone could have outed him on this at any moment. It's possible the idea of reintroducing Stu came in once Richard Potter left the project, but Kevin Williamson isn't confirming this story at all, rather stating it's more of an internet rumour. I don't mean to take sides, but Kevin Williamson also states that during the production for Scream 2, he quote-unquote intentionally leaked the scripts for Scream 2 to throw the press off the scent of the original script. However, Wes Craven stated around the time that the leaks were very much real and that production was pulled to a halt because of it, with urgent rewrites being ordered instantly. He even poked fun at this in his finalised version of Scream 3. I guess I'm saying here that Williamson has a reputation for backtracking on stories and that's not me attacking him. 
Sometimes writers do these things to cover their own backs, and I find it very unlikely that Matthew Lillard would straight up lie about his involvement. After all, what did he have to gain? You know, there was absolutely nothing that would have benefited him here except from adding trivia to Scream 3. What's more, He's done conventions with Kevin Williamson and such since, and there appears to be no animosity, which I'm sure if Matthew lied about his involvement, there'd be a discussion needed between the pair. I'm just confused about this, but a lot of fans seem to want to call out parties involved in this and label them liars and such, but I genuinely don't think it's the case here. Although, I'm super confused as to why people aren't being more specific about this story. So what do you guys think? What do you think happened with the movie? Who are you believing more? Share your opinions below. As usual, don't forget to like, share and subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next video.